A crime was trying to watch a volleyball match. Her punishment was prison. The West London campaigner Gonche Gabami has now spent three months in jail in Iran for trying to watch a men's game to challenge the country's record on women's rights. After 100 days in jail, she is now on hunger strike. Luke Hanrahan spoke to her family who say she is in grave danger. Gonche Gavami, a Londoner filmed in the capital last year, just before she celebrated her 25th birthday. Shortly afterwards, she travelled to Iran to campaign over women's rights in the country. Along with others, Gonche tried to challenge the ban on women watching the men's national volleyball team. After this protest, she was arrested and has now spent more than a hundred days in Iran's notorious Evin jail. Now, her new protest, hunger strike, a desperate measure to highlight her case. Today, her brother Iman Gavami also doing everything he can, arriving at the Foreign Office to call on the British government to do more to secure her release. Before he was... Um more um, the psychological pressure and having that state of uncertainty from inside the prison that uh, the fear that she would have to stay for a long time but now it's uh, really her physical health um, she is in really grave danger now she hasn't eaten any solid food for, for the past six days in a post on the campaign Facebook page Gonche's mother Susan announced that she too was going on hunger strike she wrote I will not touch food either until the day that my Gonche will break her hunger strike. Her life and health is in danger. I will no longer sit silently. Gonche Gavami's passion for feminism and rights activism became apparent here at SOAS University in central London where she studied law. Friends and fellow students have been campaigning for her release. Gonche's close friends spoke anonymously to me, British Iranians who didn't want to be identified for fears over their safety. They said their friend already suffers from a medical condition and are seriously concerned for her health. In the first few days of arrest, she was told by the interrogator that she would not walk out of prison alive. And uh, this obviously made us uh, very concerned. Uh, and we asked on the authorities to ensure her health and safety. And uh, currently she is on hunger strike, uh, which again makes us uh, worried. A young Londoner charged with propaganda against the Iranian state. Fears growing over her health, yet to be tried in a court. And still no closer to knowing her fate. Luke Hanrahan, ITV News. Shiva Mahbubi spent three and a half years in an Iranian jail herself. She was just 16. She now campaigns for the release of others. She joins me now. Thank you for speaking to me this evening. From your experience, what do you think conditions will be like? Well, for to start with being held in solitary confinement, uh, being deprived of uh, the basic thing like toilet, even eating and, food, and enough food, being deprived of medical attention, being deprived of fresh air, and uh, all of them, that's to start with, plus being insulted, being beaten up, uh, being flogged, and all of them are facing uh, the prisoners. And plus, if you're female, which Concha is, obviously, is uh, the fact that you're always feeling danger of being sexually assaulted, being raped, and all the danger is facing you. So this is an experience of a political prisoner and this is the minimum one. And especially with Goncha, because the news is outside of Iran, uh, they're more careful about it. But her being on hunger strike, obviously her situation, her life is much more danger. How did you cope back then? Because you were so young and, and she's been in jail for three months. You ended up serving a three and a half year sentence. I think unimaginable because uh, one thing about when Roncha is in uh, in prison, she doesn't know when she's going to be released. Same as myself when I was 16. I couldn't imagine being trapped and being in solitary confinement for seven months 
being in dark, not being provided with anything that a human deserves, basically. And I think the worst thing about it, you don't know when you're going to get out of that trauma. You don't know when you're going to see your family. You don't know when you're going to be you're going to be alive or not. And I think that's the worst thing about it. And you feel that no one can hear your voice. No one knows what's happening to you. And so therefore, you're under their mercy. They can do anything to you. And sad news tonight that not only is Gonche on hunger strike, her mother is also following suit. Well, basically being on hunger strike, which I went on hunger strike when I was in prison for 10 days, it's horrible. And we have cases of political prison and their family went on hunger strike as well. To start with, the regime do not pay any attention whatsoever. It's a scream for help. It's telling the world, come and help us to be released. But being on hunger strike, meaning that you don't even have that minimum condition that you have, and lots of them, including Goncha, if they get ill through the hunger strike, they don't take them to basically uh, any doctor or giving any medical attention. The mom obviously is understandable that saying that I'm going to go hunger strike, but I wonder how much that can help. Uh, and be, Goncha being on hunger strike, the thing with that, she didn't say how long she's going to be on hunger strike. And we had prisoners that had been on hunger strike for 50 days, 60 days. And you can imagine how much that put the life of that person in danger. Sure. Shiva, Mabubi, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Thank you.